So, right now we are heading to go pick up our Donatello, our tortoise. So the person that is rehoming this turtle, he lives like 10 minutes away from our house. Literally, like he's our neighbor, but from the other hill, like literally the other hill. So yeah guys, we'll see you over there. A sack of carrots. Open the trunk. What you gonna do with all that junk? All that junk inside that trunk. Donatello, nuestro ninja turtle. Um, lo más era como unos cinco minutos. Well, let's say ten minutes. Where we pick him up, and then we're just driving back home, and then start working on his enclosure. Porque la mera verdad no tenemos su enclosure hecho and preparado, but we're gonna be working on it today and all weekend long so yeah we see you home so we went to the store to go get a chain for the chainsaw and some oil for the chainsaw porque we're gonna be cutting this like a portion of this fallen tree so we can use it as a barrier for the turtle and we also stopped at taco bed right now we're currently parked next to we parked at Rowan's Lake to eat. We also brought Donatello porque where are we gonna leave him? So he is chilling with us. Excuse me for the meantime. I got a gordita crunch. My favorite, literally my favorite item from Taco Bell. So we're just gonna eat, head home, cut that tree. Try to finish Donatello's enclosure as fast as we can. Um, and whatever we get done, well, that's what it's gonna look like, I guess. Uh, you know, it's not gonna be, you know, came out of Pinterest. I just wanna make sure you can't escape. Yeah, that's our main priority. Then little by little, we're gonna be just, you know, upgrading his enclosure. And we're gonna be finishing our food and we'll see you home. So we are back home and right now I just filled up the chainsaw with the oil and replaced the chain. So this is the tree that we're gonna cut down. But yeah, let me just place you guys somewhere here. <laughs> hey, Amir! I want him to be filming. It's a good chain, huh?
so before I show you guys the progress of the Sakata tortoise enclosure, um, we're gonna be breaking two watermelons, one for the ducks and half of it for the Sakata tortoise, the goats and the dogs. So I'm gonna be inserting some little clips here. Then I'll show you guys hopefully the finished enclosure. <sighs> So a reason why Sakata tortoises are always like rehomed, people consider them the worst species of animals to have, is porque Sakata tortoises, they grow massive and obviously they grow up to be 120 years and up. Also because they always try to escape their enclosure. And when I say always, when I told you guys I was gonna crack that watermelon, my fiance Gio came up to bring the watermelon as close enough to the enclosure. Yo, babe. Hey, what about me? He just left. Anywho, our neighbor gave us these big, long, thick logs. Wink. Um, so we use these to like, around the perimeter and anywho, we assumed it was gonna be you know okay it's not gonna escape so then me and Gio go back inside the house we go take a nap for about three hours three hours we woke up and then first thing we say hey let's go smash those watermelons well Gio's like hey the, the tortoise escaped I'm like what do you mean it escaped well yes it escaped Especially the enclosure we assume it wouldn't escape from. So we searched throughout the whole property. And then randomly, Gio received a text message. A unknown number. He's like, hey, someone just texted me if we lost the tortoise. I told Gio that I wanted to add like fencing around the trees, around the stumps. So in case it does escape, it reaches a fence. So I think that's what we're gonna do today. We have to most definitely get that fence because we're not gonna risk it. If it escaped once, it's gonna try to escape again. So yeah, I'm just here chilling with Judy and Biriana. Hey, you man. Hi, Donatello. Where were you? Do you not like us, Shanking? So, vinimos a la Home Depot. We came to Home Depot to get some fencing. Ooh, Dr. Pepper. My favorite. So, yeah, guys, we'll see you guys home. So yeah, so we made it home and it's already like 8.40 something. So we kind of decided to leave the tortoise, leave Donatello or Dash? Dash. It's okay, officially his name is Dash. So we decided to leave Dash inside the Bronco because we don't want him to escape again, especially because we don't have the fence yet and it's already too late for us to build the fence. So we're gonna wake up at our normal time. So see ya guys. Good morning guys. So it is the next day. So before I start working on the fence, I'm gonna be letting the ducks and chickens out and also the goats, but also feeding them as well. So we're gonna get the goats out. I'm sacara chucho y Adriana primero. So last night we placed Dash in the back of the trunk. 
for the night and he is right there. Hey, Dash. What's up, homie? Yeah, so we placed them in the back of the trunk for the night because we didn't, we didn't want to risk it and leaving him in his enclosure, especially because it's not secured yet and it doesn't have a fence. So we hammered in all the T-posts, put the fencing all the way around. We added wire around the T-pole and the fence to secure it. Giovanni right now is hammering some nails between the fence and the logs just so he doesn't push the fence. I'm going to be raking some of that ashes out, adding some wood chips. <sighs> Not even halfway done, so... So I think we are officially done with fixing, securing. So we had Gary, our neighbor, dump some wood chips to the area on this Avia ashes. And then we just spreaded the wood chips throughout the perimeter. Gio dug a hole onto this dog igloo for his like enclosure. In case it's very hot, he could go there and kind of like cool down. So this used to be the goat's enclosure. Now it's gonna be Dash's enclosure. Um, we're just gonna be fencing it up, up so the goats don't go inside. We're gonna be moving the goat's enclosure that direction. We moved all their little playground and stuff that they play around with and climb and stuff. So it's been a busy day. Um, this video is gonna be very random. I apologize for that because we didn't assume he was gonna escape we didn't assume we were gonna add a fence there you have it guys thanks for watching and if you guys want to own a sakata tortoise just beware they try to escape they need a big enclosure and they live up to 120 years and up so they're gonna outlive you and probably your kids so de fabio you better fucking start popping kids you're here swallowing instead of having them kids um but yeah guys see you on the next video